Hola familia, this week we are going to make another Lazy Susan, but in this case a little bit different. What we did before was a, uh, an utility Lazy Susan for painting or for whatever and basically showing you how to set up the bearing of the Lazy Susan. In this occasion what we are going to do is something more decorative. Okay, we are going to use a board of made of walnut, which is three boards gluing together, and you cannot see the, the, the joints because it's straight grain, and I mean, even looking very, very close, it's difficult to find them, but it's three pieces. Then, a friend of mine, Adam Luna from Colorado, sent me a piece of box elder burl. And I did it, what I did was get some slices. This is one of them, it's a beautiful wood with a lot of, you know, not cracks, but inclusions or something like that. So I decided not to turn this piece, uh, a little bit afraid of break it in, in a thousand pieces. So what I'm gonna do is insert this into our board. And also, a request that I had several times was to work a little bit with resins. Well, I'm going to use a pour on. It's a resin, it's a casting resin, it's not epoxy, but it's very cheap. You can find it in Michaels or Hobby Lobby or something like that. And uh, I think you're going to like the result. So let's go to do a lazy Susan. Well, we are going to begin mounting our tray to the lathe and beginning throwing up the edge uh, which I like to make rounded you know, easy lines no decoration I'm gonna make a, a little bit of inlay here but because one of the biscuits is seen you can see the white mark there so I'm gonna inlay it but this is theme for another video um, the point is just to through the edge, leave it smooth, and now we're gonna move forward to through the face of our tray. I'm not really concerned right now about tool marks or whatever because we have to make the inlay first and then we will read through this face. So at this point, the important part is to mark the right diameter where our inlay is gonna be and once we have that we have to be uh, deep enough to allow the piece of bull of box elder burl inside there so again the the biscuits are gonna be exposed which actually doesn't matter because in between the wood and the the resin is not gonna be seen and for last step I will pass a, a, a parting tool just to leave a mark where the, the resin have more chances to stick properly. So now I'm mixing the resin. It was I was just by eye. I didn't have a, a, a anything to to check the exact weight, but just putting the two bottles together I can see the difference so and I'm using Pearl X uh, two kind of blues to make a, a pretty deep rich electric blue as you can see there the color is beautiful so first of all you place a little bit on the bottom to have a perfect fit a perfect glue up from there and now I put you know stir it well and I'm gonna use some bolts to make the the piece of burl stays on the bottom because if not it's gonna tend to float now is when we have to throw up the, the surface of our tray perfectly fine and we uh, we are going to uh, use the help of a straight edge to show us the high spots so we can really carefully throw up everything and leave it perfectly flat. Okay. 
once we have perfectly fat, flat surface, we have to sand it. I'm going to sand it through through all the grease until 600. But first, as I as you saw there, I use a, a board with an attached uh, sandpaper to you know to help help me a little bit. And now I'm going to use polyurethane clear finish, which is very durable. And I'm going to sand in between coats. I'm not going to show all the process because it's just spray it, sand, spray and sand. This is going to be the base. Uh, the base. Um, what I'm is basically is a bowl. It's a thick bowl, and uh, uh, there's nothing fancy in here. But I'm gonna mark one of the holes, and as I said in the other channel, I will explain how it works to set up the bearings. So now it's just a shallow, thick bowl. Uh, I don't want this piece to be the center of attention, so I'm not even going to cover it in shiny. Uh, polyurethane. I'm gonna just use uh, OB shine use and wax to protect the wood. But first, I'm going to dye it in black. So, as I said, I don't want it. I, I don't want the people pay attention to the base. I want the people pay attention to the top, which is the, the beautiful part. So, here's the dyeing. As this part is gonna be underneath, it's gonna be on the shadow. Plus, the black dye. It's going to be almost disappeared to the side. Now uh, apply the finish and after the finish, let it dry for a bit and apply wax. So the wood is going to be perfectly protected, but as I said, it's not going to be the center of attention. Okay, and this is how have to be mounted the base upside down and now you place the bearing on top of the base and you put the tray on top of it how it is mounted I will explain it in, in the second channel uh, I didn't do it here because actually I want to apply another two or three more coats of polyurethane to the tray so there you have it I'm gonna show you a closer look it is a beautiful the resin uh, reminds me a little bit of the bottom of the sea or something like that. It's beautiful, actually. And the wood itself, well, you can see it there. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thumbs up if you like it. And if anybody can and want to help the channel, the Patreon, the Patreon link is just down at the corner. Thank you very much, and I see you next week with another project. Bye-bye.